and, and we want to bring in uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, his family spokesperson. Um, your reaction, Kyle's reaction, what can you tell us, David? <clears throat> well, we're obviously very happy with the verdict because Kyle can live a free life as an innocent kid, as an innocent young man. But I think what's important to remember is that there's no spiking the football. Um, two people did lose their lives, right? I think this is a, a serious inflection point for the country to look back how this all, um, what's happened over the past year with the perpetuation of lots of different media, uh, wrong information being reported. Um, so we're extremely happy and we believe that justice was absolutely served. Kyle is, was defending himself against being attacked, but there is no spike in the football. And I just want to make that clear that, that, uh, I think the country can actually, this can bridge the divide, and I hope we can do that. What is next for Kyle Rittenhouse? College. College. Be an 18-year-old young man. Um, he's obviously going to have a new normal, uh, but we're prepared for this. But I think you're going to see some very interesting things coming out of Kyle in the future. He's very pragmatic about what has happened since the 25th of August last year. Um, he's not angry, he's not upset, but he sees, he sees, uh, some areas, some significant areas that, that need, he sees two sides that need to come together, right? I mean, this is an opportunity for this country to, to have some, some tough discussions, um, and to reflect upon what has happened over the past year. So will Kyle Rittenhouse go into oblivion, um, or is Kyle Rittenhouse going to take the mantle of uh, Kyle Rittenhouse household name and, um, key, and, and try to advocate for something? Uh, what, what do you anticipate will happen with this young man? Kyle Rittenhouse, is, he's not just going to take the mantle. Uh, he's going to jump up on the mantle. I mean, he's been through a lot. Um, he, He's been wildly misunderstood by so many different people. And uh, the, the mantle for what? I think you're going to see him take the mantle to advance the discussion about race in America, about politics in America. This is, this is not a moment to spike the football. This is a moment to come together to bridge the divide. And uh, that's what he wants to do. Um, you say you don't want to spike the football, but if 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 he does take on that role, does he not? Um, he is he embracing what he did um, was involved with. Um, as you said, two people died. This isn't a celebration. This isn't something that um, I don't think anybody, including this jury, would say. Boy, Kyle did a great job out there. Um, it was a just a set of circumstances. It was a set of circumstances, and. He defended himself against being attacked. Now, that doesn't mean that that this just goes into oblivion, because so many different factors came into this case immediately after August 25th last year. I mean, you remember, uh, they were calling him all sorts of names, a white supremacist, a racist, a militia member, this, that, and the other thing. And that perpetuated for over a year, even after being proved false. So um, there's, I think, this verdict can be helpful to the discussion in America. We can start looking at some of the prevailing issues, I think, that took over this case and turn it into what it ended up being until finally the truth came out and the jury made a decision that, that uh, he defended himself. And that's what this case has been about from the very start. It's been about whether or not Kyle defended himself, not all the other noise, right? So I, I think we need a... I think we need to look back. How did all that noise come to be? Like, and well, there's, a, I mean, there's, you know, um, the proliferation of guns, and there's a, a lot of different subjects, right? That this case brought out. To your point earlier, um, and, and it'll be interesting to see. It. The bottom line is, he's a free man tonight, and yeah. um, 
before we let you go, uh, and I'd like to get to Chantley. I know she's been discussing this and talking with you from the very beginning here, um, in, involved here. This is um, that moment. We saw Kyle almost breaking down before the verdict was in uh, red, leading up to 10, 15 minutes ago. This could have gone the other way very easily. Yeah. Um, your, what was the impression from the defense team coming into today after all of this was there a sense of optimism was there a sense of um oh boy we're in trouble no no we believe that uh the truth came out and the jury saw that so i was asked several times you know uh it's gone to two to three days now um and my position has always been that this jury was being very cerebral about this decision I mean, this decision, it was a major one. In a major case, one of national significance, probably one of the most, consequen the most consequential cases, sorry, um, of maybe three decades. I mean, this was a serious case that needed serious and thoughtful decision making on it. And that's what I believe they were doing. Um, and Julia, I, I don't know if you have a question, um, and Chantley as well, uh, but you know, this is, um, go ahead, Julia, if you do, I'll, I'll relay it. Thank he, you. He cannot hear you. Thank um, you. The only thing yeah. I, I wanted to ask, and everything he said, we can really appreciate back here at headquarters about this case bridging the divide about um, just how there are no winners here in a case like this. Uh, it's all appreciated. I wondered, with Kyle Rittenhouse moving forward, we know that a lot of what came out in the trial dealt with him and aspirations to perhaps maybe serve in law enforcement. There was testimony about him being a cadet and um, having certain aspirations. I wonder if law enforcement is an aspiration for him going forward after college. Yeah, uh, uh, Julia Grant's uh, asking, cop, law, law enforcement, is that in Kyle Rittenhouse's future or? Um, no. No. No, oh, his future. It seemed like it was maybe before this incident. His future is bright. He is innocent. He's been acquitted. He's in school. He's taken his prerequisites for nursing. And uh, he wants to go into the medical field. Yeah. Okay. Chandler? Sure. So, David, I did see you inside the courtroom. Wendy Rittenhouse was clutching you so hard, uh, yeah. sitting there in the gallery. What was her initial? I heard her gasp at the not guilty. What was her reaction? What was she telling you as she rushed out of the courtroom? Uh, this family gets to to basically start their lives again, right? Um, Kyle has now been acquitted. Uh, a lot of truth, the truth, came out over the last two weeks. So it's a feeling of relief um, that she's going to have her son home and she's not going to have to worry about him not coming home again. Um, so, so everybody is relieved, but everybody understands too that, that um, there are no there are no winners ultimately in this this whole case over the past year and some odd months, right? There aren't. Um, have you seen Kyle yet? I have. I have not. I have not. I'm. I'm going to go see him right now, and I want to give him a. He rushed big out of the. Hug. He rushed out of that courtroom. Was he going to go meet his family? No. No. We we took him off property. Okay. A security protocol. Yep. Got security it. protocol. So I'm going to give him a big old hug. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean. This is a, uh, oof. Yeah. You're I'm getting emotional. There. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a little worked up, um, you know, because so many people, so many Americans have helped this case along with, with the donations, with prayers, with thoughts. And uh, I mean, it, it's just been overwhelming. Um, the support, right? Um, but I, I'm looking forward to see whether or not, as a nation, we can bridge some divides here f from this verdict. So, thank you. Yeah. And uh, I guess, like you said earlier, I'd say congratulations, but there are no winners in a in a case like this. We appreciate your time.